Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be taking a closer look at the European Central Bank meeting coming up on Thursday and, of course, the outlook for the euro. I'm Cristina Marujos. Joining me today is investment analyst Cristina Parthenidou. Cristina, the ECB is meeting on Thursday at a crucial time for the eurozone. COVID cases are reaching new record highs day by day in every corner of the bloc. And some member states like Spain and Ireland have almost put their economies in full lockdown to contain the spread. What do you think the ECB's response will be to these conditions? Are we going to get more financial help? Uh, indeed, Christina, it's a very stressful period for the Eurozone, particularly because uh, the second wave of infection started before we even get well into the autumn and winter season. So uh, this means that the wars could still be ahead and hospital capacities have already started to narrow again, which brings governments in a very difficult situation of choosing between risking their economies with a full lockdown and experiencing another uh, double digit contraction or imposing some software measures and leaving people exposed to the virus. Uh, as you said, some countries have uh, already taken some more uh, drastic measures. However, uh, the majority is trying to avoid a general shutdown similar to the one we saw back in spring because that could leave some long-lasting effects to their economies and significantly boost public debt levels and uh, that could be difficult to correct them in the future. But in either case, uh, the virus will not easily disappear and we will need extra help now. Uh, on the monetary front, uh, the ECB has been open to additional stimulus all the time since COVID first emerged, saying that it would do whatever it takes to to support the euro area and achieve its objectives. So I think this is the right time to reveal when the next move will take place. Perhaps it may leave policy and change on Friday and wait and see how things may develop because the truth is that there's not much comfort for a more generous policy given that interest rates are already at record lows in negative area and are hurting the banks. The asset purchase program has been also extensively used and we also have other schemes in play. However, we didn't have any news recently about whether governments want to provide more fiscal support. So the ECB could come first to signal whether any adjustment could take place in the next policy meeting in December, probably through its pandemic emergency purchase program. Currently, markets anticipate another extension of 500 to 600 billion euros and a more dovish outlook. So it remains to be seen if Mrs. Lagarde would follow markets forecasts or turns less dovish than markets believe, asking for a smaller increases to keep some power for the future, or if she decides to maintain the current policy as a piece and call for more fiscal stimulus instead. Looking now at the Eurozone calendar, one can see significant data coming up. We have GDP growth figures for the third quarter, inflation for October, and the unemployment rate for September all to be released on Friday. How important do you think the data could be for the markets and, of course, for the euro? Uh, well, a few months ago, markets were uh, optimistic that the third quarter could bring the V-shaped recovery everyone was looking for. And indeed, forecasts suggest a quarterly increase of 9.4% from a contraction of 11.8% the second quarter. Uh, also, the annual change may remain negative, but still show improvement to minus 7% from minus 14.7%. However, the virus conditions have dramatically deteriorated this month and businesses got another hit from uh, new restrictions and uh, that perhaps could result in a double digit contraction in the fourth quarter if things get worse in the coming months. So uh, since this may not be reflected in Friday's data, the numbers for the third quarter could be old news and uh, generate a minimal reaction in the euro. Inflation uh, is expected to stay steady and uh, far below the central bank's target in October. And unless it doesn't show a sharp rebound, then it may not boost the euro either. The unemployment rate could be uh, discouraging too if it rises to 8.3% in September. So overall, uh, I don't expect any reaction uh, on the back of of, uh, data. Uh, probably the ECB policy meeting will be the main driver for the currency this week and uh, it will be interesting to see if Lagarde can trigger a new bearish wave in the euro dollar market using a more dovish tone than markets expect or a less pessimistic language allowing the euro to gain additional ground. Besides, if we look at the government uh, bond yields, uh, the German and French ones remain stable in negative area at the time when the US 10-year treasury yields are rebounding within the positive territory. So the gap seems to be increasing again and that is negative for the euro so something should be done to boost bond yields in the eurozone christina thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching this forex preview on the european central bank meeting coming up this thursday here at xm.com